This video is sponsored by Blue Light Blocking Screen Protectors for Nintendo Switch. Find them at launchprotect.com, use the coupon code BILL for 15% off at checkout. If you're anything like me, then when your new favorite game comes out, you're playing it right up until bedtime. I want to talk to you about Blue Light. Blue light is the shortest wavelength in the visible light spectrum. Our body uses blue light to regulate our natural sleep and wake cycles. Prolonged exposure to artificial blue light can be harmful to our eyes and our sleep. Bottom line, launch blue light blocking screen protectors for Nintendo Switch and other electronics. Help reduce the negative effects of blue light and increase your visual comfort when gaming on your Switch. I already had a tempered glass screen protector on my Nintendo Switch. Launch sent me theirs, I took the old one off and I put the new one on. The launch screen protector was the easiest one to install. I didn't have any bubbles and at the end of the day, it looks great. One thing I was worried about with blue light blocking glass is would it change the perceived color that I would see when looking at my Switch in portable mode? And I'm here to tell you, I was worried for nothing. The screen looks great. So if you're looking for a tempered glass screen protector with the added bonus that it blocks blue light, then head on over to launchprotect.com and use the coupon code BILL for 15% off. That's launchprotect.com, coupon code BILL for 15% off. Hey everyone, welcome back to another first look. This time we're going to take a look at a game called Ego Protocol Remastered for the Nintendo Switch. This game was provided by the publisher, but let's do the tutorial. Oops, not the credits. Let's do the tutorial and see what the game is like. Uh, let's start. Basics. It's a uh, droid. Escort him to the ex exit. Press to start playing. Switch opens the exit. Portal exit to the exit. Exit to the next stage. Okay. So L or R makes him run. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh, okay, there we go. So now I can make him go faster. Okay. And if I want him to stop? Mm, I don't know. All right, now let's do action, halting. Press the action button to stop, and then press again to start walking. Time your moves to avoid the sentry cannon. Ah, I hate the font in this game. It's very hard to read. Um, some parts of the stage, and look at this, how the, the text things are overlapping. What is up with that? Some parts of the stage allow you to perform actions like jumping, shooting, running, and halting by pressing the action button. Okay. So we start. Okay, there you go. So it's the Y button. Makes it stop. All right, let's do columns. In order to escort the droid to the exit, you can manipulate stage tiles. Ego Protocol has four different stage mechanics. This is the first one, columns. You can move columns with, with while white. W-H-I-T-H? -h? I think it's a typo. With selecting by a, a and moving using left stick. Okay. So I start. And then we hit A. And we move him with the left stick. Oh, okay, cool. And we'll make him go faster. So it's a puzzle game. Action shooting. Some parts of the stage allow you to perform actions like jumping, shooting, running, and halting by pressing the action button. That's why, by the way. Um, okay. So I'm going to pick, pick up a gun. Does he automatically turn around? He does. Oh, I gotta shoot him. Okay, so you can only shoot when you're in that section. 
All right. Mechanic, rows and columns. In order to escort the droid to the exit, you can manipulate stage tiles. Ego Protocol has four different stage mechanics. This is the second one, rows and columns. Okay, we start walking. All right, so I need to move this one to the right. Ah, okay, that's cool. Um, I don't know what just happened to my screen. That was weird. That was really weird. Did you guys see that, or am I just imagining it? Uh, trap door. You can pass it over only once. Okay. Here, let's make him go faster. So I can walk across it once, and then it's gone. All right. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Ro um, Load Runner. If you've never played Load Runner, it's this really cool old game that I loved when I was a kid. Uh, and it kind of had this kind of feel, except it was a little less puzzly and more actiony. You had this gun that you could shoot into the ground, and um, by shooting it into the ground, it would create a hole, and then the enemies that were chasing you would fall into it. And then they would drop gold, and you would pick up the gold. In order to escort the droid to the exit, you can manipulate stage tiles. Ego protocol had... Yeah, okay, we already know. Oh, wait. I have to fill in the missing tile. So, it should give me a... Uh, okay. Move this down to the empty space. Move that over. Ah! Oh, it's like those puzzles where you've got the one empty tile and you can move things around. That's very interesting. Time pauser. Time pauser stops the timer for a couple of seconds. Probably gives you a chance to react to stuff. Oh, no, it stops time. So, like, you're timed on how much time you can... Like, I get 30 seconds to solve this puzzle. Hitting the time pauser stops it for a second. All right. Let's go jumping and then ego fragment. Uh, some parts of the stage allow you to perform actions like jumping, shooting, and running and halting by pressing the action button. Thanks for telling me. Yet again. So I'm going to have to jump over this guy. With the jump! Yeah! And then that's the same button as the shoot and the same button as everything else, really. Alright, the Ego Fragment. Collect to get a better score. Alright, let's go. Let's collect. And there's nothing for me to do here except for hold down the right button because he he's going to run in the correct direction automatically all right so we did the tutorial where are we at we're at seven minutes uh we can we can do a, a level or two one dash one i wonder if there'll be a mushroom oh look at that okay I was not expecting that. Uh, so we want to move this up. And we want to move this down. Oh, so you get to plan it out ahead of time. And then you start. Very cool. Next. All right. Oh, shoot. No. Um, restart. I hit the wrong button. And then we want to... No. Wait. Yes. Oh, no. I can't make that other one move. Hmm. Let's get it, give it a shot.
Oh, I couldn't jump. Let's start that over. Ah, I got it. Okay. So he'll walk into here. He'll bounce off the wall. He'll go back the other way, hit the trap door, grab the whatever that thing's called and climb back up. And in that amount of time, then I can move it. All right. Oh, I get it. Okay, let's go. Oh no, you can't do it when he's on the, he, you can't move it once he's on that stage. Hmm, I don't get it. So if I move this up, I mean, I have to move that up. There's no other option. Like he has to go through there. Oh wait, I think I figured it out. Now what happens? Okay, good. But it's tra he's trapped, he can't do it. Oh, wait a second. Let's, uh, yes, restart. How do I restart? No. Okay. So I can't, I can't move any rows. It's only columns. Hmm. I have to be able to hit that. All right, let's see if we can jump. So we'll hit this. Now I'll send it down, and then when he comes back up, I'm going to try and hit the jump button and see if it works. And jump. Jump button doesn't work. Oh. Idiot. All right, so we've unlocked that. And then I need to move that down. And then move that down. And he's going to fall. And then I move that down. And we figured it out. Okay. I think that this is a very cool game with a kind of a really weak presentation. I feel like the presentation of this game is very weak, but the overall core gameplay loop is very interesting and unique. And I know I've only played two stages and done the tutorial, but I think that that's very interesting. I may talk about this on the show. If you didn't know, I've got a podcast called Nintendo Switchcraft. Uh, make sure you check it out wherever podcasts are downloaded. I will see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.